Howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Alex Bar Road of the Show Season. It'll be 22 PS5, Episode 310. We head into August today. Eight games above 500, still five and a half back. Things are getting serious. We went four and two in our last episode, although Alex went on kind of a cold streak um, up there until the end of the episode. So hopefully we can get it back on track today, but we face a very good Twins team, which I... Uh, Let's see. The next up for the also, I realize Parker, well, my headband on. It's in like the first time I've showed my face without my headband. I wear my headband so much, I have the meanest tan line right there. I hate this stadium because of the sun. I haven't really thought about the sun that much. And that clips the inside Dang, corner. Blue. That's not a no strike. We're just getting started top of the first. Next one off the That's the same exact pitch. And one. He's very close to a strike. And there's I was the saying all the way because I can't back see back anything, back man. Am I, for a strike. am I crazy? But look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. The three two is well, off the outside edge and six pitch is walk is fine. You can stomach a two out walk. Welcome back, Tatis. Players, but with his speed, this guy out there he came back at the end of the last episode. But he strikes out here, so swings and misses. Nothing going for us in the top half of the first. first it's one nothing and now, twins. And we have a chance to tie it up. That is roped, but it's not going to tie anything up. Maybe it will. He didn't get a good jump on it. It ate him up out and right, and it's a 1-1 game. Yes, sir, Alex. Heck, yeah. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Caught all of that one. We'll make this a 1-1 game. Heck, yeah, Alex. I believe the game sounds a little loud. That's because I was playing The Witcher. So, uh, one of my games that I, uh, it's going to be on the channel regardless, um, when it does come out, but it got delayed. That's Jedi Survivor, which sucks. I've been excited to play that. Man, we can't hold a lead. Our pitching is so bad. I got it, Riley. Riley, moving under this one. Tatis is now our second baseman. Interesting. It's five to two. And Alex jumps on the first pitch. It's deep right. It's off his glove and it's going to fall. Alex rounds second and he's got a triple now. He is two for two on the day. Heck yeah. 11 triples on the year, and ladies and gentlemen, I believe that's a career high. Shoot, we've been in a career high. A career high before that was six. We are one double away from 300 doubles, though. How about that? Good piece of hitting there. A hit here would be great, Tatis. Make it a two-run game. Tatis and Alex still competing for that NL MVP spot. Two out. Alex is helping his resume today with a two for two day, a walk, an RBI, a triple. The kick, the three two. On the ground, right side. And not a run yet, though. As Tatis grounds out, so he's still trailed by three. And welcome back, Luis Arise. Alejandro Stay Garcia is awful. I must have a hole in my shirt. <laughs> out to short. Throws across the diamond, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. And the batter will be the shortstop, Alex Parker. 5-2. Gotta swing the bat. Could have hit that one hard. I hate this guy on the mound of Diamond Dynasty. Martin, the runner at first with two gone. Look out. Hit him. So, we're a swing away from a tie game. As Alex gets plunked. 
the tying run at the plate. Here's a high chopper. Throw is low, and he can And we've got bases loaded. He makes an error. All right, well, Tatis is struggling. Maybe Riley with a 3-1 count here. This is troubling for the Twins and promising for us. Riley, it's fair down the line. It's going to score two, and it's a two RBI single. Austin Riley comes through, and the Padres are still in this game. And wow, we gave up one, though. We tied it, and then we gave it up. One on, one down here, down one. That's not one we're going to hit. Up and down. We represent the winning run, but right now we're just worried about getting Martin in. That's low. Just barely. Just barely. All right, nothing really to hit so far. That's a pitch and a half, man. Reyes is painting right now. 3 2. Need two seconds. Alright. Popped it up. That's just great pitching. I mean, like, I can't do much about that. We won! Tatis! What do you hit the two run shot? Yes! We won! Let's go, man! Oh my gosh, I've never been so happy for a, a regular season win. Let's go, man. That's what I'm talking about. A good start today. Looks like Placencia drove in Sanchez with a double. Maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first. Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Once again, daytime. Does Alex have a different stance? And makes the grab. Alex looks to be hitting with a different stance. How long has he been doing that? Here's Byron Buxton. Of course, we gave up a run right back. We'll check that and change it back. I don't even know what it was. I'll have to go check. Sorry about the AC. It's so loud. Alright. Look at Alex's stance. Why did it change it on me? Yeah, that's ugly. That's not ugly, but it's not the open back stance we know and love. So in turn, his swing changes. And that one hit to and that's a ground out. So, not much going today for Alex with his new stance. Joey Bart's a twin now. That's interesting. Bart's one of those interesting players where he's a super high overall, but he's never been that effective. Um, he had an 843 OPS last year. This year he's a 790. So he is doing a little bit better, uh, but he's always been great in the field. He's got a 20.8 war in his career. So, I mean, it's not like he's some bum. He's, he's a good player. But he's one of those that really, like, developed overall-wise, but never... Performance wise. Sends it to first. Two down. Two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball. And now Eliezer on the bottom of the fifth, and we are still tied. I'm happy with that. Weakly hits it to Alex, and we are out of the fifth. Thank you, Butler. Go ahead, run on base. So good spot here to take the lead. 
And Alex absolutely crushed it down the line. It's going to hit off the Twin sign. But Buxton's throw is wide. It's an RBI double for Alex. There's number 300 on his career for the two baggers. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about, Alex. And we needed that to take a lead right back from the Twins. And with four innings left to pitch, hopefully we can, well, maybe tack on another here. Tatis has struggled, but he came up with such a huge hit last game with the two-run shot. At least move us over, Tatis. One of the best in Padres history. All right. Pitch and coming. Two and two. Up the middle. It's through. And it's going to make it a 3-1 game. Yes, sir, Nando. That's RBI number 93 for him. And the Padres middle of the lineup comes through again. This guy has turned into a Padre is a team that just relies on their stars. Alex being one of them, obviously. Alex being the main one. Tatis big, Riley big. When we get Adam Turner back, that would be big. That is a little bit. We're a little bit behind it. Trouble here for Clifford Mays, who's been better as of late. It's popped up. And we blew it. Of course we did. Makes me not want to play this at all. That's him to left. Tons of speed. He's going to go. I think he might be out, though. No, he's not out. That's ball game. The Twins come back on us this time. And we blow it again. So, one and one on the episode. Let's get out of here and win game three. Spencer Strider, the pitcher. Spencer Strider, not quite what he is. In real life, he is uh, a 79 overall, but he's pitched with the Twins for the past. This is his fifth year, I guess. Never pitched in 2027, though. He's been, he was good last year in a relief role. Uh, he started 20 games this year. He's been pretty good. He strikes out a lot of batters. Throws ball really hard too. So. Fifth in home runs in the National League right now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Strider, I don't. I'm a Braves fan. That's a pitch. Sure, I'm a Braves fan. I I love Spencer Strider. I think he's got crazy potential. I don't think he's. I don't think him and Harris are quite what. Like the hype train on Harris. You dig into some of those analytics. Harris is always going to be a valuable center fielder. Michael Harris, I'm talking about. Sorry. Then I hit into a double play. Harris is always going to be a valuable player because he's got, you know, the best glove in the MLB, like in center field. He's absolutely insane. But the bat, no. The bat's not going to stay there. People are saying, full season, Harris is going to hit 310. Like, 36 home runs. Like, that's what he's projected. No, he's not going to. He's going to hit around 250. Well, dang. I do think he's going to keep some of those power numbers, though. Neither. We can't hit Strider. They can't hit Gore. I do think he's going to keep some power numbers. He's going to hit above 20 home runs. But overall, Harris will be a top 10 center fielder. He's just not going to be the revelation people think he is. Yeah, we're not we're not getting the luck of the draw this game. Still ones. Yo, on Duran, the pitcher, we're over three. 
This guy one of the best contact men in the sport as well. Anyways. Standing on the defensive end. Schreider, I, I think in a similar way, he struggles with location and such. And as players become more um, able to hit those 100 mile per hour pitches. I mean, Strider just throws him over the plate and says "fu fastball" most of the time. He does have a good slider, though. And we can't buy a hit this game. Not helping our team out, and we. Wow, Mackenzie Gore is only throwing 62 pitches. A pitcher's duel today. On the ground to the left. Nice. One down. 62 pitches through seven innings is wild. So now we trust Zach. Please, Zach. Who I do happen to trust. We got him. End of the ninth. Big spot here. We're 0 for 4. He's got the power. Well, if you're over four, you got to come through at one point. We're due. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. The pitch. Curb in the dirt, kicks away. Why did y'all not go? Why did I swing, though? Oh, Alex has his stance back. I can't. Can't time that much better. That sucks. Come on, Tatis. Tatis Well, that's going to do it. I assume they're going to score here. No. We are 0 for freaking 5, dude. Come on. Dang, man. Holy cow. Got a lucky call there. Just missed. When you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. And to left, we've got a leadoff hit here in the 13th. This game will either put us 7 above 500 or 9. I would like 9. Take off here. In the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now, here goes the runner. Bags ours, though. So Tatis goes down on strikes. Alex takes a bag, and we will trust Riley. He or no, James Wood. Riley's not in. Wood has been hitting better as of late. He's two for three today. Next pitch misses. He's got a three to one. Who's on deck? Julio Pablo Martinez. Never heard of her. Odd. 3-2. And come back, Adam. Adam would fit right at the top of that lineup. And would make a huge difference. Especially getting on base in the field. In the air, left field, Larnick. On the run towards James Wood just flies it out. So we'll have to trust in Julio Pablo Martinez, who I have no clue who you are. Who are you? A 76 overall, not a good hitter. 33 years old. I remember his name, triple name. He played in Texas, that's why. But overall, hasn't really been in the league since 2027, and that was only four games. And it's 2029. Pablo Martinez. 
I mean, shoot. Why not come through? He flies it out, and it's going to be caught. So, ball game. He, nope. Zach Plezak is still pitching. And pitching well. That's a hit, though. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. And a board on That's the troubling. Just a huge hit back. And your final score here today, 2 1. Yep, we lost. Shockingly, we lost. Okay. I hate this game. We are not going to make the playoffs, I don't think. And if we are going to, we're going to have to really get it going here in August and September. Let's talk about that a little bit. So right now we are six and a half behind the Dodgers. We're a half game above the Giants. And guess who we play next? The San Francisco Giants. So we need to come out and win these games. When do we get our boy Adam Turner back? He is, it is mandatory you come back. Two to three weeks still. A little faster, please. Uh, we're not going to get Campuzano back this year or anything. Looks like we are tied with them now. So, all tied in the wild card. This is a big series here. Alex Parker. We're already down one nothing. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. And first offering is fouled off. Oh one. So. And a pitch. Obviously, it's a good bit down the line. But free agency for Alex is in three years. And another ball. So that's about four months. Um, but the idea is, uh, whether it's with the Padres or somebody else, to choose a team and stay there. Yeah, there's ball you know, that was strike. Wow. I kind of wanted to hit there. That's tough, but we'll take a walk. I think that would be a fun or like a. I think wherever we go, Padres, um, not back to the Angels, anywhere um, that we choose, bags ours. And hit and run works. So, oh shoot, corners two down. I think we're gonna sign a lifetime, like a like a like a end of the career contract up until we're like 40 years old. And Riley strikes out. So. It is tied at one. Wilson throws over Asensia back in on a dive. I feel like that's a good idea, though. I, I, that's why I want to do. I want to spend most of my years with one team. Another throw and, like, really there chill out. Close. I just got to decide who. I like the Padres, but the Padres are kind of on a downward decline. I'm here with the Padres to win championships, which we are anywhere. But in a 10-year span, you know, you're oftentimes going to get, like... So it's first a regression second, somewhere, or maybe you start terrible and you start developing into a very good team. At first, one gone. Who knows? Next one is off the play, and a count two and one. Yeah, you know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there, not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Two two. So we'll see where Alex ends up. It could be with San Diego. I don't know. Tatis waits. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Ramos. That's going to be played. Underneath it. Two down. And it'll just be first and second. Two down here for Riley. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Come on, Riley. Next offering way off the plate. But for now, we got to focus on this 2029 season and making a wild card game here to give us a chance in the playoffs. I really do think getting Adam Turner back is going to help a lot. We just got to wait for that. 
he struck out. So, end of the third. These are big games right here. Huge games. This guy, you know, has looked decent so far. What's up, Bry guy? We played with Bry on half a season. He was part of our World Series run with LA, I believe. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. And we've got a lead. Nice. Shortstop, Alex. We're one for one here today. They got that off. Oh, they got him leading. He's out. Well, nobody on two down. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit. And we go right into that five hole again. So, our second hit of the day. We have been on all three times today, so we'll take that. Oh, shoot. I forgot that. Sorry. Tatis almost sent it out of the ballpark, but it's well foul. Right-hander kicks deals. Rudder takes off. Bags ours, and it'll be full. Number 36 for Alex. We're a hit away from a two-run lead. Tatis caught a lot of it. It's out to deep center. And caught. Uh, he's done that a couple times now. Damon Fegan, the new pitcher. First offering and it just misses. Great day for Vizcaino on the mound so far. Here comes a pitch. Sadly, in our nine hits, we only have a one-run lead. Today's game, the pitch out. Not many opportunities for Alex to drive anybody in. Inside just missed. This is a really good feeling for a hitter at this point in the ball game. You we'll take all the way. Don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Good and ball four. There, Our forty third walk of the year. This guy wants to swing it, but he's Here comes Satis. He is one for three, singled in the first. The second time he's taken ball four. With the hit and run single, actually. But he strikes out, so two innings left. So let's please hold on. Heck yeah, man. One more. Good job, guys. Love to see that. So we are back ahead of the Giants by a game. We're throwing Sam Davis, and he gave up a leadoff double. To Ken Yamamoto. Against right this year, so some reverse splits there. Swing a bouncer. Really weakly hit, but we are on it. it one first. down. One out in the top of the first. Good fastball in on the hands makes the swing a little bit. First and second, troubling. Luis Toribio, the next giant to hit. Is that Cam on first? I don't think it is. Out to short. Just go all the way to first. It is not Cam. It'll be Hayden Wisniewski, the pitcher. So we do hold that wild card spot right now. And the Braves are just consistently good in this game. Now move to first, and he's back in easily. One one. Yeah, right mm. fouled off. One two. And a pitch. Stays we got a piece. Alive. Pitcher Somehow. A tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. On, now, it well to out to left center. Two. It's got a chance to get down, but it's not going to. And there's two away. And Alex is retired. One gone runner at first. Now it's the shortstop. Alex Same spot here. 
in there, and it's 0-1. Oof. Left-hand batter waits. In the air, out to center. Robinson All right, game. Under it and makes the catch. I guess There's you just no hate me. It's so fine, nothing. This away. game hates me. Padres, Alex I'm convinced. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Up the middle, there's two. Are you joking, dude? Oh my gosh. There's not much you can do when you're timing everything and nothing works. And your team can't stop the other team, and we also can't score runs. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow. Bottom of the eighth. So digging in now for Sandy. We're 0 for 3 today. Gosh, we should not be 0 for 3. Ball one, no strikes. That's in the air right side. Really, really stupid. Holy cow! And puts the squeeze on that one. One down. 0 for 4, man. One down. There's the short And that ball should have Marco Luciano. Whatever, man. This game's balancing tactics are so stupid. Slings to second, return throw to first, got him. Double play. Yeah, get get me out. Whatever. We lose again. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We're back to tie in the wild card. That's it for me. I'm out. Or that's Alex Parker for the episode. Episode 310 in the books.